Oh my goodness, it has been a minute. I am so excited to tell you guys I have finally moved out. Welcome back to the vlogs. I am currently in my new place. I officially moved in one week ago, so it hasn't been long. It's a completely like newly built condo. And so that's why you see all this like green tape everywhere on the walls. I also did do some renovations and it took a bit. It took a couple of weeks. So it was very hectic. There was boxes and stuff everywhere. Like there's still, it's honestly still very much a mess, but now it's slowly actually starting to look like a home. So I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm gonna do like a full house tour, like official house tour video soon. So we are fully back with the vlogs and I actually need your help. I don't know if I should name this series um, my old name, which was On The Go Vlogs, which is kind of like a play with my last name, Stephanie On. So I called it On The Go, which I thought was kind of cute, but maybe it's a bit corny. But I started doing that around like three, four years ago. And then I changed it to life in my 20s. So I need your help. Let me know which one, which name you guys like better. I want to show you the different renovations that I did because I'm very proud of myself. Honestly, I was very unsure about my abilities because, I don't know, obviously I have never done interior design. I've never been that like home girly where I was like super excited to design my own room or space. So this was the first time. My vision was to do Wabi Sabi. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a Japanese inspired interior design. It's very much like combining wood and natural colors um, and stone into the space. So that is what I envisioned for my condo. So I'm giving you guys a little sneak peek, but this is the first thing I designed, which was this fluted panel wall. I honestly feel like this is the showstopper in the whole place. I just love the color. It's like a warm brown, but it still works with these like gray floors. And then this is the couch that I had been eyeing for literally two years. It's from Structube. It's the Cloud Couch Dupe. I really think this is the most comfortable couch that I have ever sat on. It's also huge because I really want to host friends and like have little small gatherings. And I think this is the biggest couch that could probably fit in the place that could hold a bunch of people. And then for the coffee table, I chose this wooden one. I feel like it matched with the fluted walls really, really well. And I really like how there's a little opening inside so I can use it for storage. Everything is honestly pretty simple. I still need a rug and I'm kind of thinking mint green, olive green, something about the green family. I feel like would be good here. I also want to add a little tree, like an olive tree um, right in the back. Okay, the second thing that I got renovated was these lights on the ceiling. Um, a huge reason as to why I fell in love with this condo was because there's 10 foot ceilings. Because they're so high, um, I really wanted to install these lights. We've all seen on TikTok that right now, ambient lighting is very in. Like if you're using your ceiling pot lights, then you're out like it's very much so like the warm inviting lighting so I really wanted to get those installed so I don't have like that awful like bluish fluorescent light anywhere in this space and then for the bedroom I also did the same thing so we got the fluted panels I only wanted to do it for half the wall because I feel like if I did it for the full wall it would have made the room look really really small I still need a headboard so I'm really trying to find that one but I haven't had any luck so far but I will keep you posted on that. Part of me is like super excited because I've been waiting to live by myself and like have my own condo for like the longest time. But then another part of me is so scared because I'm like the most, I'm the least independent person. Like I depend on my parents so much. I depend on my boyfriend, Brandon, a ton. Living alone, I feel like is just so wild and crazy and such a crazy concept but I feel like it'll be okay. Like we're, we're gonna obviously get used to it and it's gonna be super fun, but I love how this is kind of like a new chapter and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a really, really good year. I have a good feeling. Okay, so here is my little office. This is gonna be like my little studio space. It's gonna be where I work. I have my desk here. I've been living out of these little travel bags. I'm still officially unpacking and still like slowly moving in. I still have so much left to bring from home, but 
I'm gonna take it really slow. I don't wanna rush anything. I got this little shelf for all of my makeup. I feel like if I don't see my makeup, I don't end up using it or like the skincare. So I really wanted to have like this open concept little bookshelf and just have these plastic organizers. So then I can just kind of like lay everything out. I can see everything really well and then I'll actually use it and not just use the same concealers, foundations, and makeup every single time I do my makeup. So this is all my makeup. They're all in these bags. They're honestly, they're like in little garbage bags because I organize them by bag. So like this one has like face masks and stuff. Other ones will have like lip glosses. So I need to unpack all of this and start organizing them right now. Also, this room is not big at all. It is quite small, um, but I feel like this is where I would do most of my filming. So I'm thinking of putting a really large mirror right here. I'm thinking about like an arch one. And then I wanna put like a little vase with like pampas in it right beside and then have a small carpet right here in the center. <laughs> One organizer done. This was so heavy guys. Putting this on this shelf was not easy. I'm so happy I didn't drop anything. The thing that I am the most happy about living alone is I got to take up the whole living room and just watch all my shows, eat all my snacks, and just have like that as my own complete space. I do have to get a lot of more like decorative pieces. I do also feel like I'm kind of like stressing out myself, really just trying to make the place too perfect in the shortest amount of time. But I need to remind myself that the best homes become like super homey and feel really lived in as time goes by. I don't need to be in a rush and get everything like all at once. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. So I am really trying to remind myself that the place does not need to look absolutely perfect right now. It's gonna take time. I am super excited though to have my friends over. One thing I definitely learned about myself over the past couple of years is that I am very much an introverted extrovert. So I don't like love going out a lot. I definitely do love a girls night out like maybe every couple weeks. That is necessary, like a girls night at a cute little restaurant or a bar is necessary sometimes, but I'm definitely a home person. I love staying home. I love watching my Korean dramas, having snacks and just doing a face mask and just like having me time. But I love doing that with friends. And I feel like now that I have this place, I can invite all my friends over and like be more social, but also still be able to stay home and just do cute girly things. So I feel like I'm gonna be a lot more social this year, which I'm very excited about. Oh my gosh, guys, look at my nail. I broke it while I was moving this huge box. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed tomorrow. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for this year, I have a very good feeling. I feel like things are gonna happen. Honestly, I feel like last year was like one huge big rut for me. And now I feel like things are gonna start moving again. I definitely feel a lot better mentally. Who knew that a new place could have such a big effect on you and your life, you know? I'm getting a lot of hormonal acne around my chin. Everywhere else is fine. Like no acne, great skin, but my chin is just not having it. And I've been using this, the Ordinary Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. And I think it's actually been doing a pretty good job. I'm getting like a bunch of these little white bumps on my skin. And after I started using this, it basically turned all those white bumps into zits and now it's slowly starting to clear up. I've been using this for like two weeks and I feel like it's doing something, but it's still, it's still problematic. I feel like after a month, I'll be able to know if it actually works or not. Oh my goodness, my Timu package came. Guys, I'm completely addicted to Timu. So Brandon's mom actually told me about Timu. I downloaded the app 
and I literally spent hours on it. Like, they are so good at getting you, okay? Let's start opening this. But what happens is that when you start adding things to your cart, you start getting these coupons being like, oh, if you spend this amount of money, you get this $30 coupon and then a $100 coupon. Honestly, it's such girl math, but I literally completely just fell right into the trap and I spent so much. Like I've already made three different orders and I've spent a total of like $300 on the app. Okay, this is my very first order. Let's actually see if the quality is good. The first thing I got, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So I really wanted like a wooden plate situation for my island because I wanted to put like candles on it. I also have this vase with pampas um, that I want to put on my island as well. This is so wabi-sabi. You guys see like the texture? Like look how pretty that is. So I think I'm gonna put, okay, let me just show you. Like this with like candles on it. I feel like that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Like that's perfect. Okay. Okay, this order is already a success because I already love this. Super impressed. Okay, then I got these wooden spoons. You know those like Korean mukbangs? All of the Korean mukbangers are using a wooden spoon. So I really wanted a wooden spoon. <gasps> okay. They're, they feel kind of like hollow. Like they don't feel like the best quality. But. Like that's so cute. Like I feel like that's cute. I think I would keep these. Okay, this is the thing that I'm most excited about. I need scissors. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Wait, this is so cute. This is everything I imagined. I'm so happy that none of it came broken. Okay, guys, these cups are so nice. I really, really wanted some unique cups. These are called Caterpillar glass cups and I really wanted them and look how cute they are. I'm so happy. And they even come with glass straws, which is so cute. <gasps> I can't, I actually can't. Okay, and then I got this cute little tissue box cover. It does seem a bit small. Let me just compare. Okay, it's definitely a lot smaller than an actual tissue box, but I can already tell it's already a lot smaller. So I think I'm gonna have to take out all the tissues and actually put them in manually. But I feel like this is so cute. Like beside the little wooden tray on the island, like that's so cute. So you know when you're washing your face and water always drips down your arm and then it wets your pajamas and then I have to end up always drying it with a hairdryer? Not anymore. I got these little towel wrist wraps to put on my wrist whenever I'm washing my face. Hopefully these actually work. We'll have to see. Also, I need to show you guys this drawer. I honestly am most proud of this in the whole home. I'm obsessed with this brand of Keurig pods. It's called the donut shop and they have like cookie dough flavor. They have caramel. They have Snickers that is so, so good. I also have this one Green Mountain brand, but it's hazelnut and it's so good too. But guys, this organization, this is what makes me so happy. So I definitely feel a bit better. Uh, I've kind of have gotten into routine a teeny bit. Um, there are still a bunch of boxes everywhere that I kind of need to organize. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'll have everything sorted. My one thing is I need to choose a rug. So I put together a list of all of the rugs that I'm kind of looking at. And so hopefully by the next video, I'll be able to show you guys my rug and actually do like a full on home tour. Um, and that will probably be like the official home tour, but that just depends on if I get the rug or not. I definitely feel like this space is turning into more of my space as opposed to like a hotel where it was like very empty, but every single day I'm slowly adding more and more things to it. So it's feeling more homey. Um, I'm getting back into the rhythm of like normal life and not just like cleaning and organizing. I'm slowly starting to feel more like myself. By the next video, I will try my best to really give you guys like a full on home tour so you can see everything in the place. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.